How y'all doing? Happy New Year! Monday, baby, it's the first day of the year! We got a long haul in front of us, and I plan on having fun with it. Anyway, I hope you got to stay up last night, have a great time, and have a, a nice New Year's Eve. Uh, we kind of went to bed a little early here. I didn't see the turn midnight here, but uh, I saw it out in New York, so that's cool. Kind of miss Kathy Griffin. But uh, anyway, I hope you all had a great time because we got a good year ahead of us, and I think we got amazing things to be able to do this year. So what's going on in the news all over the place? Well, the damn biggest thing is, I guess, a bunch of Californians out there are getting stoned this morning because pot became legal for recreational use out in California. That's one of the big news stories that's going on, and uh, there's lines out there, I guess, getting, uh, yeah, we ain't doing that shit down here in Texas. You know why? <laughs> Have you seen our border? That's a long-ass border we got. That's why we ain't done it here. Where do you think all the real legal marijuana comes from? Shit, it gets across Texas somehow. And uh, it's not rampant, I hope, but uh, hell, we've seen Border Patrol agents arrested for for uh, doing shit with drugs. We've seen sheriffs gone to jail for it. We've seen judges down here in South Texas have to get arrested for their involvement in the illicit drug trade. So you want to know why? Hell, there's money to be made all over the place with that shit. Texas gets a hell of a big piece of that DEA war on drugs money. And uh, because we have such a massive border. And uh, they make money on the jails. I think there's like 60 some odd private prisons here in Texas. That's what we do, baby. We'll throw your ass in jail. We'll make money on the jail. We'll make money off the pot. We'll do all that shit. Legalize it? Uh, we'll think about it. We, we don't think it's legal. It should be legal now. They'll come up with all sorts of shit down here. You ain't never going to get rid of anything that Bubba can grow in his backyard. They build these places. Uh, they build buildings. Solid concrete buildings. And they build walls around it. And they put guards on it. It's called a prison. Can they keep drugs out of there? Hell no. So what do you think a wall is going to do? Oh, that's right. Donnie said you, you, they'll just throw the drugs over the top of the wall. That's what Donnie said. Idiot. But they legalized it in California, and I'm happy for them. David, you should be celebrating right about now for them people out there. I'm sure you are. Transgender people can join the military today. How about that, Donnie the Dick, with your little tweet out there? No, no, they can't do anything because I blah, blah, blah. I will they... be the greatest president that God ever created. He's been a tick on the soul of society since he's been born. That's what he's been. Shut the hell up. I'm really yeah, rich. we know you're really rich, Donnie, and you're getting richer every day you're in office. That's the problem we have. That kind of mentality across this country that got us in this kind of shape that we allowed that disgusting turd up there in our house. Woo, don't get me started because me and Mama went into long discussions about how this man got elected. In, in my opinion, it is a holdover from so much hate that I saw on the right for President Obama. They don't want to be called racist. Oh, I'm not a racist. Yes, you were. For eight years, you were racist assholes, and you demonized the good man, and then you demonized the good woman, and then you just glorified an asshole and voted for the asshole. It's a holdover from a lot of hatred that started the day Obama was elected the first term. They couldn't stand it on the right. It drove them neck crazy. It gave us the tea part, don't get it. That's my personal opinion why Donald Trump got elected. Because there was a lot of hatred stirred up on the right for demonizing everything. Like I said, hell, Hillary's running a pedophile ring out of a pizza heart parlor. That's the shit they peddle. That the right, all of them, demonized the left so much. And now, now look at them. They are in bed with a dog ticks and blood sucking. Ah, anyway, what's going on? Well, Donnie woke up this morning just to kick Pakistan and North Korea in the shin to make sure we have plenty to puff up about. 
you know, King Jong-un come out with a little statement saying his the, the nuclear button is on his desk. It's on his desk right there. He could reach it. It's not a button, people. It's not a button they could pass. He's playing the same kind of shit Donnie plays. We have never been closer to war in nuclear in, uh, in, in the Korean Peninsula in my whole lifetime than we are right now because we have these two little dicks that just want to keep pissing on each other and I, don't, I just don't understand the reasoning. I've said it before, I think we ought to enter into a peace treaty with North Korea. They already have nuclear bomb. We can't stop them from something they already have. We've never entered into a peace treaty with, with them. We've had this demilitarized zone right there and it ain't working. We need to do something else, and the only way to do it is drag them into the 21st century. Introduce them to McDonald's and barbecue and all that kind of shit that we have. And uh, that's what we did with Russia, Perestroika. And uh, so let's make a deal and then just introduce them to everything else and let them have the knowledge of what else the world knows. Anyway, there's a lot going on. There's uh, protests over in Iran. I'm glad to see that. I hope those people do stand up. I come from a long history and, uh, of, of Iranian. I, when I first joined the military, one of the first duties I had in the military was helping to train Iranian airmen. That's right. Back then, we were training Iran. The Shah of Iran was still in power. In power. The Iranians turned on him because of the way he treated their people. We propped his ass up. And we rescued him when they took his ass down. That's when they took our hostages and all that shit. And when Ronnie Reagan traded weapons for the hostages, because that's damn sure what he did. And we've been in this pissing contest with Iran for the ever. Two major powers in the Middle East, Iran and Saudi Arabia. We have more in common with the people of Iran than we do with the people of Saudi Arabia. And uh, given the history of Saudi Arabia, with uh, that's where most of the hijackers came from that took the buildings down. That's where most of the money came from to support those assholes while they were here came from. So, yeah, if I had to pick one of the two that I was going to side with, it damn sure wouldn't be Saudi Arabia. That's my opinion, and there's plenty of people that would argue their point with that. So, that's just a personal thing. I'm glad to see Iran standing up, and I hope they do. Because the... Uh, the, the last one was brought on by religious freedoms and all that with uh, Islam and all that. So it, maybe they could leave the religion out of it this time and just go back to a normal society like they used to be. And uh, I don't know where that's going. Anyway, George Papadopoulos got drunk. Damn right, Johnny got drunk and spilled his guts out to some Australian diplomat. Now we couldn't find out that's where the FBI started their investigation. It wasn't the Steele dossier. That uh, Donnie's been saying, oh, look, the dossier, they paid for it, all that bullshit. Parts of which have been confirmed, mind you. Not the pee, pee tape yet, but we're working on it, baby. Don't worry about it. Anyway, it seems this guy got drunk and it unloaded his mouth to an Australian diplomat about uh, Russian involvement in our election and how he was going to help Donnie and uh, thought uh, he was just blowing smoke until WikiLeaks started putting out DNC emails, and then they said, well, wait a minute, that's what the guy to Papadopoulos was talking about. So they informed the FBI, and an investigation began. Not the Steele dossier. Papadopoulos' mouth, evidently. Ain't that some shit? The coffee boy, you know, the one that sat at the desk when Donnie said he was a foreign uh, policy advisor, and then said later he's a coffee boy. Boy, how his shit. Really, Donnie? You picked a coffee boy to just sit in the chair over there and act like somebody? Ain't that a low-down, scum-sucking trick, huh? Only cheap bastards do that kind of crap. Liars, that's who do it. Camp David's coming up. He's going to have a, a meeting with Paul and Mitch. You know, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell. Going to have a little agenda meeting there at uh, Camp David to set their agenda for 2018. And I think the agenda from the other side ought to be kiss our ass because it starts off with him bullshit about he'll approve DACA if we give him the wall. Plain and clear, if any Democrat votes for anything with a wall on it, we should vote their ass out. That wall is a stinking anchor around his neck. We don't need a wall, don't want a wall. I don't want to spend billions building a shrine to Donnie the Dick. And that's exactly what that wall would be. 
So no, I don't think there should be a damn bit of cooperation with this asshole. He's already got his tax cut through for the rich. After that, kiss my ass. Don't give him shit. Play the same game that they played with us for eight years. And make them fight for every damn thing they get from now on. And don't think it'd be much. 2018's coming and we have to make sure that we put strong Democrats in there that are going to fight for the values that we hold dear. That are not going to be beholden to the rich corporations. And get this country back to doing what it used to do. Work on being a benevolent society again, which has gone down the tubes with Mr. Hitler. So, oh, speaking of Hitler, what's that old boy's name? Uh, sheriff, what's his name? David Clark. You remember him? The sheriff of Milwaukee, Mr. Tough Guy. Mr. I'm going to vote for Donnie the Dick. Hey, back in the news because he tweeted out some crap with him and a, there's a, a wrestling scene and he puts his face on the, on the good guy that's winning and CNN's face on the bad guy that's getting the shit kicked out of him. And he wrote, Punch the media in the nose, and then in all caps, make them taste their own blood. Then he said, poke them in the eye with a sharp stick. Bitch slap the scumbags. Doesn't that sound like a professional law enforcement officer that you want representing this country? He's nothing but a slime dog, boot-licking asshole from Donnie the Dick. He's nothing but scum as far as I can see. He thinks he can just... How'd you like to have your kid pulled over by him? I can see him out there with his foot on the kid's neck. Pushing down. Screaming at him. Because he's an asshole. He promotes violence against the media. That's reporting on him that the FBI had to investigate his ass. And he don't like that. I heard something about he got pissed off at some guy on the plane. He caused a bunch of havoc for him. That's the kind of people we do not need in power. The kind that want to take it and abuse their power on private individuals like Donnie the Dick does. That's how come he'd love to get his hands on the DOG so he can decide who goes to jail, Hillary. That's them people. That's what they want to do with our Department of Justice, the FBI. They want to take it and use it as a private punishment tool for his agenda. And scare people into voting his way. Just like Nikki Haley says, you don't vote our way, we'll remember your ass. We'll cut your ass off. It's the kind of people we're dealing with. They don't give a shit. It's their way or no way. And we and I say, I say no way. No way at all. Vote their asses out. Turn on their shit and throw them out the gate. And put some good Democrats in there. Anyway, that's about all I got for the first day of the year. It's going to be a hell of a year. I'm looking forward to it. We have races coming up. I want to investigate more into who's running where. Get more involved in that. And that's what I'm trying to stress to you this year. Get involved. Find out who's running in your area. Do your best to support him at the very least. And all across, if you know somebody else in another district, support their candidate. I'm going to have signs out my yard. It's going to look like a used car lot out there. I'm going to support every Democrat i found because the Republican Party has turned into a party of crap. A party of, of, of un-American, unabashed greed. And that's who they are. And we don't need that shit in America. It's called fascism. And we don't want it here. Anyway, that's about all I got. Like, share, and subscribe. John Brittimo of Blue Dot in Texas. On YouTube, John Brittimo on Facebook. My fan page, John Brittimo Speaks. Carol, I'm... Candy and Don, you're doing a hell of a job out there. We really appreciate it. And uh, on Twitter, at Blue Dot in Texas. And uh, anywhere else we can get this message going. Uh, I'm going to be doing some things because that's my New Year's resolution is to get my Patreon going. And so I'm going to be doing some more on my Patreon channel because people are actually paying a dollar a month or so for that. And I so appreciate that. And it goes to, to, to helping do this. And, uh, but I, I feel I, I need to get more into my Patreon so I can give the, those that are donating more for their money and I, because I really appreciate it. Well, on that note, y'all have a good day. Have a great year. Keep your head up. Keep on the line, baby. Do not stay in the bunker. We'll get this shit done. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all later.